good morning today we are going to start with the topic ecosystem okay now just a minute Now, what is known as ecosystem? Okay. Ecosystem consists of community organisms together with their physical environment. Okay, as we have discussed in our last lecture, in environment we have both the components within the environment. We have biotic components and as well as we have abiotic components. Okay, so biotic and abiotic. Biotic are the living beings and abiotic are living uh, non-living things. So in a given surrounding, when biotic components and abiotic components come together, they live together in a surrounding that forms their ecosystem. Okay, so ecosystem consists of community of organisms together with their physical environment. Okay, so biotic and components surviving together with the physical and abiotic environment is known as the ecosystem. Okay, so. Uh, this is one ecosystem a picture I have given over here. You can see like we have Okay, I was talking about ecosystem. Ecosystem is nothing but a surrounding in which the living beings and long living beings exist together. They survive together. Okay, in a given surrounding in a given area. Okay, now see you can see a picture over, over here. Okay, so in this picture, you can see we have living beings and non living beings, biotic and abiotic components of environment. Okay, surviving together in one area that is known as ecosystem. Okay, now here we have this ecosystem of a river. Okay, uh, so you can see here we have living being rabbit or we have uh, aquatic creatures under the water, we have plants under the water, we have water again, we have stones and rocks over here okay these are non-living we have tree we have soil we have air atmosphere so this totally forms the ecosystem okay so you can see here living beings and non-living beings existing together in a given surrounding okay so they are known as the ecosystem ecosystem can be of different sizes and can be marine ecosystem marine is related to water aquatic or terrestrial terrestrial is related to land okay so we have land ecosystem and we have marine ecosystem so <clears throat> it is uh, coming to the characteristics of ecosystem it is significant structural and functional unit in ecology okay in the study of environment ecosystem ecosystem means you are studying an environment along with its biotic and abiotic components okay so from ek jagah pe वहां की लिविंग क्रीचर्स और वहां की एबायोटिक चीजों को साथ में स्टडी करते हैं दैट इज नोन एज दैट इकोसिस्टम इट स्पाइसेस डाइवर्सिटी इज इट्स स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ओके स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी मतलब एक इकोसिस्टम में कितने टाइप के आपको स्पीशीज मिलेंगे जैसे एक फॉरेस्ट इकोसिस्टम का एग्जांपल ले लो ठीक है forest me you have so many different kinds of animals we have wild animals extremely wild animals like lion tiger we have some animals like deer over there which are not so wild in nature okay so kitni variety of species kitni variety of insects aapko ek hi ecosystem ek hi forest mein milte hai theek hai diversity in species matlab kitne tarah ke aapko wahan pe living creatures milenge to its कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी जितनी ज्यादा डायवर्सिटी उतना ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाता है उतना ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है वो इकोसिस्टम को समझना ओके कॉम्प्लेक्स इकोसिस्टम हैव हाई स्पीसीज ओके मोर द कॉम्प्लेक्स इकोसिस्टम मोर द नंबर ऑफ स्पीसीज आर देयर इट्स रोल कनेक्टेड टू द सर्कुलेशन ऑफ एनर्जी वील स्टडी दिस इन कमिंग स्लाइड्स व्हाट इज एनर्जी सर्कुलेशन ओके नाउ इन ईच eco given ecosystem both the environment and energy fixation are restricted it cannot exist without creating severe negative impacts okay so there is energy flow within the ecosystem energy is flowing from one organism to another okay 
So we'll study that when we'll come to food chain and food web. Now coming to types of ecosystem. Okay, so the concept of ecosystem is clear to you. Ecosystem in simple language is nothing but कोई भी एक surrounding ले लो, चाहे वो lake है, वो forest है, वो city है, ठीक है, वो desert है, ठीक है, तो कोई भी एक surrounding जहाँ पे living and non-living beings are there together, that is known as ecosystem. Okay, in simple words. अब ecosystem is classified into two types. Aquatic ecosystem related to water. Okay. So water ecosystem, we have two. We have fresh water ecosystem. Okay, fresh water is associated with lakes and rivers where we get fresh water. Okay, last lecture in our water resources, we have studied that water is classified into fresh water and salty water. Okay, now marine ecosystem is connected with salty water, with seas and oceans. Okay, now then we have terrestrial ecosystem. Under terrestrial ecosystem, we have forest. Okay, forest is on land, grassland, mountains and deserts. Okay, so under fresh water, we have seen we have three types, lentic, lotic and wetland. So what are lentic? Water bodies that are moving slowly or are in still in some places come under lentic. For example, ponds, lakes, pools. Okay, these water bodies are where we get still water, we get Okay, yeah, very slow movement of the water. So these are known as lentic water system. So whatever we get in living organisms in the lake, in the lake you will not get big, big fishes such as you get in sea like whales and all. Okay, so lentic is the water system which is still in nature. Okay. Lotic water system are water bodies that are moving at a fast pace uh, under a lotic. Okay, so water bodies such as rivers, okay, rivers may we have flowing water, beheta hua pani hai, river mein thaira hua pani nahi. Okay, so usko hum dalenge lotic ecosystem ke andar. For example, streams and rivers, the waterfalls and the rivers come under lotic ecosystem. Wetlands, environment characterized by soil, soil saturated with water for a long period of time. Okay, wetlands are nothing but where we have a mixture of soil and water. Okay, we don't only have water. Okay, so the muddy water, uh, where we have the mud and the water together, those are known as wetland. Marine ecosystem are usually characterized by the presence sense of salt content okay so wherever we have salty water such as seas and oceans they form marine ecosystem these ecosystem have higher salt content than the freshwater ecosystem okay moreover they are known as the largest type of ecosystem of the earth okay as we have studied like out of the fresh water available 97 percent is covered with water salt Okay, so marine ecosystem is uh, all the, sorry, seas and oceans together form the marine ecosystem. Okay, next we have is terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem refers to all ecosystem which are closely located on land. Okay, so the land-based ecosystem. So we have studied in this diagram like ecosystem are classified into two aquatic and terrestrial. Okay, so we have covered aquatic, which is again divided into freshwater and marine. Okay, now under terrestrial ecosystem, we have forest. The name itself suggests forest ecosystem usually includes, includes various plants, organisms, animals. Okay, so we are all aware of the term forest. Okay, so the jungle ka ecosystem, hai, that is forest. <coughs> Changes in the forest may affect the entire ecological balance. And so we have seen deforestation, kya hai, uske consequences, kya hote hai. So koi bhi change hum forest mein karte hai, uska effect puri ecology mein aate hai. Okay. So when you cut down the trees, you are disturbing the balance of the ecology. Okay. Then we have grassland ecosystem where grass is growing, the number of tree is low. This ecosystem consists of small plants and shrubs. Okay. Mountain ecosystem where we have huge mountains. Okay. Where the climate is extremely cold and rainfall is low. Desert ecosystem as the name suggests. Okay. 
this is we are talking about desert where we have lot of sand okay and the amount of trees plantation and vegetation is low in deserts now coming to the structure of ecosystem so still now we have covered what is ecosystem the types of ecosystem aquatic and terrestrial okay now structure of ecosystem structure means what are the components what is this ecosystem made up of okay as in my very first slide i told you ecosystem is nothing but all living things and non living things existing together in a given surrounding theek hai ek example humne lake ka liya tha ye lake hai theek hai jahan pe hamare paas fresh water hai we have living beings around the lake we have animals we have trees we have plants under the lake okay we have non living things also we have here you can see we have rocks and mountains okay we have atmosphere around the lake which includes this air okay to ek hi jagah pe when we have living beings and non living beings existing together this is ecosystem okay so this we have discussed in first slide so coming to structure of ecosystem okay structure of ecosystem ecosystem means ecosystem बना हुआ किसका है वो हमने अभी देखा कि ecosystem is made of biotic and abiotic components okay so biotic components includes all your living beings and abiotic components includes your non living beings so the structure of ecosystem is characterized by the organization of both okay so we need both things in a particular place to form a ecosystem we need biotic as well as abiotic components this includes the distribution of energy in the environment okay so we'll study about energy how energy is flowing in the environment in our coming slides <clears throat> it not only includes biotic and abiotic component but it is also including the climatic conditions the atmosphere over there okay in that particular environment the structure of ecosystem can be split into two components biotic and abiotic components okay so this is the structure of ecosystem we have our ecosystem then we have abiotic factor which includes all living non living things theek hai to humne non living things ko further classify nahi kiya but jab hum biotic components pe aate hain living beings pe aate hain they are classified into three types we have producers we have consumers and decomposers theek hai so this is very important topic from examination view point also theek hai to ye aap acche se samajh lo pehle hamare paas ecosystem hai ecosystem ek surrounding hai jahan living beings hain non living beings saath mein survive kar rahe hain theek hai to ecosystem ko humne divide kiya abiotic jiska koi further classification nahi hai aapko bas uska definition likhna hai abiotic kya hai sab non living things theek hai बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स को हम फर्दर क्लासिफाई कर रहे हैं किसमें तीन पार्ट्स में प्रोड्यूसर्स कंज्यूमर्स एंड डिकम्पोजर्स कंज्यूमर्स को आप फर्दर क्लासिफाई कर रहे हो तीन पार्ट्स में प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्शरी ठीक है एक और चौथा पार्ट भी है क्वार्टरी सो वील अंडरस्टैंड नाउ द बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स ओके सो बायोटिक और लिविंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स जस्ट अ मिनट okay so biological components refer to all living organisms these components include organisms such as animal plants human beings small small organisms which are not even visible to our naked eye theek hai to microscope leke aapko dekhna padega itne chote chote organisms bhi hamare surrounding mein hai that are coming under living or that are coming under uh, microorganisms theek hai so my living beings mein sab include hote hai okay components are further classified into three types producers okay consumers and decomposers so we'll understand what are producers they are referred to as autotrophs they can create food through photosynthesis theek hai so a producers kon hai jo khud ka khana khud banate hain theek hai they are known as producers they create their own food ab hamare pure ecosystem mein plants ke alawa aur koi bhi producer nahi hai 
ठीक है वी ह्यूमन बींग्स आर ऑल्सो डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्लांट्स फॉर अवर फूड जब तक हमको अनाज नहीं मिलेगा हम खाना नहीं बना सकते ठीक है बट प्लांट्स आर ओनली डिपेंडेंट ऑन सन एंड वॉटर दैट दे गेट फ्रॉम द रूट ओके एंड दे कैन प्रिपेयर द ओन फूड दैट्स वाई प्लांट्स आर क्लासीफाइड एज प्रोड्यूसर्स ओके दे फॉर ऑल द स्पीसीज हायर इन द फूड चेन डिपेंड ऑन प्रोड्यूसर्स फॉर सस्टेनेंस ठीक है तो हमारी सर्वाइवल के लिए वी आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्लांट्स इवन एनिमल्स आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्लांट्स ओके so we all are dependent on plants for our food so plants are known as autotrophs okay the producers ka dusra word autotrophs hai since they can create their food through the process of photosynthesis theek hai photosynthesis process humne school time mein padha hai photosynthesis process in simple words is nothing but ek process jiske through plants apna khana khud banate hain by absorbing sunlight by absorbing some chemicals from the roots okay they make their own food and that food is supplied in the each and every plant part of the plant okay stems leaves roots so through the process of photosynthesis they make their own food that's why they are known as producers theek hai to aap the producers ki picture dekho yahan pe we have all kinds of plants that are coming under producers okay so only plants are producers in our ecosystem no other organism is producer okay because only plants can produce their own food rest all of we are dependent on producers for our food okay next we have is consumers okay so in our this slide we have seen producers clear hai jab bhi producers are words so no producers matlab the living organisms who can produce food on their own so in our ecosystem we have plants next is consumers okay consumers are known as heterotrophs theek hai producers ko hum kya bol rahe the autotrophs ab consumers ko hum bolenge heterotrophs these are the organism that obtain their sustenance from other organisms so consumers are dependent on other live uh, on producers for their foods okay or on other living organisms for their food so primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers are further classification of consumers theek hai ab jo producers pe dependent hai theek hai for survival unko hum kahenge consumers aur consumers mein bhi we have three types primary secondary and tertiary ठीक है ना कमिंग टू प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स कौन है जो सिर्फ प्लांट बेस्ड फूड खाते ठीक है जो प्लांट्स पे डिपेंडेंट है अपने सर्वाइवल के लिए उनको हम बोलते हैं प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स सो प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स आर द कंज्यूमर्स हु आर ऑप्टेन देयर फूड फ्रॉम प्रोड्यूसर्स ठीक है दीस आर नोन एज हर्बिवोरस ठीक यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दीस साइंटिफिक नेम्स फॉर देम क्योंकि ये एमसीक्यूज में या ऑब्जेक्टिव बेस्ड क्वेश्चन में आ सकता है प्रोड्यूसर्स को हम ऑटोट्रॉप्स बोलते हैं ठीक है प्रोड्यूसर्स को हम ऑटोट्रॉप्स बोलते हैं कंज्यूमर को हेट्रोट्रॉप्स प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स को हम बोलते हैं हर्बिवोरस हर्बिवोरस मींस डू डू नॉट ईट अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑन प्लांट्स फॉर देयर फूड्स ओके सो प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स आर ऑलवेज हर्बिवोरस सिंस दे ऑप्टेन देयर फूड फ्रॉम प्रोड्यूसर्स ओके they only consume primary consumers okay they are not consuming other consumers wo sirf primary producers ko consume karte hain such as plants or algae okay so <clears throat> so these are the examples okay rabbit bear giraffe flies pe people okay there are people people are on this earth who are only eating प्लांट बेस्ड फूड ठीक है जो दूसरे एनिमल्स को नहीं खाते जिनको हम वेगन या ठीक है सो दे आर ईटिंग अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम ऑल्सो बट सम पीपल डिपेंड ओनली ऑन प्लांट फॉर दियर फूड ओनली ऑन प्लांट एंड प्लांट बेस्ड फूड ठीक है horses cows are some examples so the consumers who are feeding on producers producers are nothing but plants they are known as primary consumers okay now coming to secondary consumers primary consumers provide energy to secondary consumers okay they may be carnivorous or omnivorous 
ओके तो हमने हर्बी वोरस किसको बोला जो सिर्फ प्लांट को खाते हैं वो है हर्बी वोरस ओके अब कार्नी वोरस एंड ओमनी वोरस आर द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट फीड ऑन अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके सो एग्जांपल सम सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स कंज्यूम बोथ प्लांट्स एंड फूड ओके एनिमल फूड सो देर आर पीपल हु ईट प्लांट एंड हु ऑल्सो ईट एनिमल्स ओके सो दीज आर नोन एज कार्नी वोरस दे आर रेफर्ड टू ओमनी वोरस eat that means eat everything they can eat plant also they can eat animals also okay a raccoon is an example of on omnivore as it consume plants such as berries as well as crayfish frog okay so we have animals that feed on other animals such as lion or uh, tiger okay they or they feed on other animals also okay so a consumer who can feed on other living animals as well as producers they are known as secondary consumers third we have is tertiary consumers okay tertiary consumers are creatures that obtain their sustenance sustenance is their food okay jiske upar wo sustain hai survive hai from secondary consumers okay now tertiary consumers can be herbivores carnivores or animal और ओमनिवर्स ठीक है तो एग्जांपल है लायन टाइगर्स जेगोस ओके दीज आर द एनिमल्स हु अटैक अदर एनिमल्स एंड ईट देम ठीक है तो ये है टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स दे डोंट ईट दे कैन ईट एवरीथिंग दे कैन ईट प्रोड्यूसर्स दे कैन ईट सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स ओके व्हिच मींस दैट नो अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स प्रे ऑन देम इन देयर इकोलॉजिकल एनवायरमेंट ठीक है अब ये फाइनल कंज्यूमर्स है टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स कोई भी लायन को अटैक करके टाइगर को अटैक करके या इनको अटैक करके इनको नहीं खाते ठीक है सो दीज आर द फाइनल कंज्यूमर्स जो दूसरों को अटैक करके उनको खाते ठीक है तो लायन टाइगर्स प्यूमर्स जेगर्स दीज आर नोन एज टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स दे आर एपेक्स प्रेडिटर्स एपेक्स प्रेडिटर्स मतलब हाई लेवल प्रेडिटर्स दीज आर द फाइनल प्रेडिटर्स ठीक है ये वो एनिमल्स है जो दूसरों को अटैक कर सकते हैं बट कोई एनिमल जाके लायन को अटैक नहीं करेगा टाइगर को अटैक नहीं करेगा ठीक है ओके आई एम आई क्लियर विथ ऑल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स यस मैम प्रोड्यूसर्स कंज्यूमर्स अच्छा डिकम्पोजर्स पे हम गए नहीं तो कंज्यूमर्स में प्राइमरी यू ओनली लर्न थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर डेट इज इनफ प्राइमरी जो खुद का खाना सॉरी प्रोड्यूसर्स कौन है जो खुद का खाना खुद बनाते हैं तभी उनका नाम ही प्रोड्यूसर्स है प्रोड्यूसर्स में वी विल इंक्लूड ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स ठीक है अब है कंज्यूमर्स जो प्रोड्यूसर्स पे डिपेंडेंट है अपने सर्वाइवल के लिए ठीक है तो we all are consumers we are dependent on plants for our survival theek hai ab consumers ko humne classify kiya hai primary secondary and tertiary theek hai primary consumers wo hai jo sirf producers ko khate hai jo sirf plants ko khate hai theek hai plants ke alawa wo aur koi living animal ya living organism ko nahi khate theek hai to unko humne primary mein dala then we have secondary secondary are the one who are eating on primary ठीक है तो फॉर एग्जांपल डियर और फॉक्स दे कैच रैबिट्स एंड ईट ओके रैबिट इट ईटिंग प्लांट एंड डियर फॉक्स दे विल कैच रैबिट एंड ईट देम देन दे आर सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर ओके दे ईट प्रोड्यूसर्स एज वेल एज प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स टर्शरी कंज्यूमर आर द हाईएस्ट लेवल ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स दे कैन ईट एवरीथिंग दे कैन इवन ईट प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी बोथ द कंज्यूमर्स ओके Now coming to third type decomposers. Okay, decomposers are what? Okay, you can see from these pictures. These are small, small living organisms, small things that come on dead and decay. Okay, जो भी मतलब आप हिंदी में बोलो तो जो सरी गली चीजों पे आते हैं और उनको खाते हैं. ठीक है तो आपने देखा होगा कभी कोई एनिमल मर गया. ठीक है तो उसके ऊपर जो छोटे छोटे organisms आ जाते हैं. ठीक है और वो उसको खाने लगते हैं दीज आर नोन एज डीकम्पोजर्स ठीक है बैक्टीरिया दीज आर ऑल डीकम्पोजर्स 
they directly feed on decaying and decomposing organic substances ठीक है डीके मतलब जो ऑलरेडी सर गया है गल गया है चीजें ठीक है उसके ऊपर जो लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म अभी आ रहे हैं दीज आर डीकम्पोजर दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओवर इकोलॉजी बिकॉज दे रिसाइकल द न्यूट्रेंस फ्रॉम दी न्यूट्रेंस फॉर द री यूज बाय प्लांट ओके सो डीकम्पोजर्स आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे आर फीडिंग ऑन डेड एंड डीके most decomposers are tiny organisms including protozoa bacteria okay so these are the name of some of the decomposers now coming to second component of our ecosystem which is abiotic component okay abiotic components are the non living components of ecosystem so we are not classifying it further non living me kya aa gaya water soil minerals temperature nutrients okay all these are classified as abiotic components okay now moving to next topic energy flow as i told you we will cover two topics first is ecosystem okay so under ecosystem we have seen meaning types and structure of ecosystem three sub topics under ecosystem now coming to next topic of like uh, this lecture is energy flow okay so in ecosystem or in environment energy flow kaise hoti hai ek organism se dusre organism okay the flow of energy through living organism in an environment is known as energy flow okay all living organisms can be divided into producers and consumers and a food chain or can be formed okay so we will understand what is food chain each nutrition level in the food chain is referred to as trophic level theek hai food chain ko alag alag parts mein divide kiya hai alag alag levels mein divide kiya hai aur har ek level ko hum kya bolte hain trophic level these food chains are grouped into trophic pyramids to more efficiently represent the abundance okay so we'll understand trophic levels and pyramids in with the diagram okay now the energy flow is unidirectional along the food chain theek hai unidirectional matlab ek hi direction mein energy flow hoti hai theek hai plants se energy milegi primary consumers ko primary consumers se energy milegi secondary ko सेकेंडरी से मिलेगी टर्शरी को ठीक है इट कैन नॉट बी इन टू डायरेक्शन कभी ऐसा नहीं होगा कि एनिमल्स आर गिविंग एनर्जी टू प्लांट ओके इट्स ऑलवेज यूनि डायरेक्शन दैट एनर्जी विल फ्लो ऑलवेज इन दिस डायरेक्शन प्रोड्यूसर्स से लेके कंज्यूमर्स तक जाएगी एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट एज हीट एट ईच स्टेप अलॉन्ग द वे ठीक है तो आपने कोई प्लांट को कंज्यूम किया वो प्लांट की हंड्रेड परसेंट एनर्जी आपके अंदर नहीं आएगी ठीक है तो उसकी कुछ परसेंटेज ऑफ एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट इन एटमोस्फेयर ना मोस्टली यू विल ओनली गेट द टेन परसेंट एनर्जी ओके बाकी नाइन्टी परसेंट एनर्जी इज लॉस्ट इन द एटमोस्फेयर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ हीट एंड ऑल ओके Okay, so this is a simple example of food chain. You can see here, as I told you, the energy will always flow in one direction. These are our producers producing food on their own. Okay, then we have herbivores who depend on them. Okay, up they will eat grass. Okay, this fox will eat deer and rabbit. Okay, lion will eat this fox. Okay, so energy will flow from here to here. इस प्लांट्स की एनर्जी यहाँ गई इनकी एनर्जी इसको मिली और इनकी एनर्जी इसको मिली ठीक है सो इट विल ऑलवेज फ्लो इन वन डायरेक्शन इट इज नेवर इन टू डायरेक्शन सेकेंड थिंग एनर्जी इज पास नॉट द एंटायर एनर्जी इज पास फ्रॉम वन ऑर्गेनिज्म टू अनदर ठीक है तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लांट्स में थाउजेंड के जी ऑफ एनर्जी थी जब इन्होंने प्लांट्स को कंज्यूम किया हर्बी वोरियस में दे ओनली गॉट हंड्रेड के जी ओके वेन अ फॉक्स इज कंज्यूमिंग herbivorous animal he is getting again only 10% that is 10 kg okay now this tiger or lion is consuming fox then again he is getting only 10% of this that is 1 kg okay so the energy flow takes place via food chain theek hai ye ek example hai of simple food chain theek hai food chain matlab kaise 
एनर्जी फ्लो हो रही है एक लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म से दूसरे लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म पे फूड वेब हम समझेंगे आगे के स्लाइड में ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनर्जी फ्लो इन द इको सिस्टम प्लांट्स बींग द प्रोड्यूसर्स ओके प्लांट्स आर द प्रोड्यूसर्स दे एब्सॉर्ब सनलाइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास्ट ओके एंड ऑल दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज फोटोसिंथेसिस अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉ ठीक है एनवायरमेंट का लॉ है आप जिसको भी कंज्यूम कर रहे हो चाहे आप टॉप कार्निवोर हो या हर्बिवोर हो ठीक है सो आप जिसको भी कंज्यूम कर रहे हो उसकी सिर्फ टेन परसेंट एनर्जी आपको मिलेगी ओनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन ट्रॉपिक लेवल टू अनदर रेस्ट इज लॉस्ट इन द एटमोस्फेयर ठीक है तो हर एक लेवल के फुटचिन के हर एक लेवल को हम क्या कहते हैं ट्रॉपिक लेवल Coming to tropic level, the producers and consumers in an environment can be organized into several feeding groups, which is known as tropic level. Okay, so these are the tropic level. Each level is known as tropic level. Producers represent the first tropic level. Okay, so you can see the first tropic level is producers. This is second tropic level, third and fourth. Okay. Top carnivores represent the last level. Okay, one more example of trophic level. Trophic levels are the levels of nourishment in food level or food chain. Okay, so you can see the nourishment is passing on from one living organism to another. So here we have producer. Okay, producer. Then we have consumer, primary consumer, frog. okay so frog is getting nutrition or energy from plants he is consuming directly the plants then we have secondary consumer snake okay snake eating frog okay so snake is getting nutrition from frog then we have an owl which is feeding on snake okay so ye aap dekhoge har ek level ko hum tropic level bolte hain bhale hi wo pyramid form mein ho aise jaise ye wala diagram tha theek hai to in this you can easily understand how the energy is flowing theek okay, but in environment also you can see there are different organisms that feed on each another and each level is called as tropic level okay so here we have the first tropic level of producer second tropic level third tropic level and fourth okay so producer they are the basis of all tropic level theek hai food chain start hi producer se hoti hai agar plants nahi honge to koi food chain hi nahi banega theek hai so these are the basis for all the tropic level <coughs> primary consumers or herbivores inke okay, secondary consumers so you can see again i have given one more example of tropic level theek hai तो ये लैंड पे हमको समझ में आता है बट अंडर एक्वाटिक आल्सो वी हैव एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स देन वी हैव हर द फिशेस हु आर फीडिंग ओनली ऑन एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स देन वी हैव कार्निवोर ओके अगेन सो बी इट लैंड बी इट मरीन इकोसिस्टम ठीक है हर एक इकोसिस्टम में एक ट्रॉपिक लेवल होती है और हर एक ट्रॉपिक लेवल का बेस इज अवर प्लांट्स so energy flow in ecosystem is unidirectional ye humne cheez discuss ki it is always flowing in one direction okay so that one direction is solar radiation pehle sun se heat aayegi producers apna khana banayenge then herbivores and carnivores always it will flow in this direction it cannot pass in reverse direction okay so reverse direction mein kabhi nahi jayegi this is law of nature there is decrease in the content and the flow of energy with rise in trophic level जैसे जैसे आप ट्रॉफिक लेवल पे ऊपर जाओगे तब वैसे वैसे एनर्जी रिड्यूस होती जाएगी अब फूड चेन रिफर्स टू द ऑर्डर और इवेंट्स इन एन इको सिस्टम वे वन ऑर्गेनिज्म इट अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दिस इज नोन एज फूड चेन जो डिफरेंट ट्रॉफिक लेवल है जहां एक लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दूसरे लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म पे फीड कर रहा है ओके एंड लेटर डेट ऑर्गेनिज्म इज कंज्यूम बाय another large organism okay the flow of nutrients and energy from one organism to another <coughs> at different trophic levels form a food chain the food chain also explains the feeding pattern or relationship between living organisms 
So food chain may first of all we have sun. Okay, we have producers. We have already discussed enough about producers. Then we have consumers. Okay. So four parts के से पहले तो part sun है sun से energy आएगी तो ही producers food बनाएंगे. ठीक है. Producers को energy consumers feed करेंगे. Then consumers में we have different level. We have studied primary consumers, secondary and tertiary consumers. Okay. So this is a simple example of food chain. Okay. A food chain is a sequence that links pieces by their feeding relationship. Okay, so we have studied this in previous slide also. A rabbit feeding on plant and a bird or an owl that is then they are feeding on rabbit. Okay, so how the energy is flowing in the ecosystem? Food chain hame wo dikare. Okay. Okay, I mean next the concept of food web. तो जरूरी तो नहीं हमेशा एनर्जी विल फ्लो इन अ सिंगल चेन ठीक है जरूरी नहीं हमेशा एक आउल ही आके रैबिट को खाएगा या एक स्नेक ही आके रैबिट को खाएगा लायन भी आके रैबिट को अटैक कर सकता है ठीक है और कोई एनिमल भी आके इसको अटैक कर सकता है तो जब देर इज इंटर कनेक्शन बिटवीन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इट फॉर्म अ फूड वेब ओके फूड चेन इज जब सिंपल एक चेन में एनर्जी का फ्लो हो रहा है ठीक है जैसे ये वाले डायग्राम में भी था सॉरी In this diagram also we have seen in a simple chain there is an energy flow. Like a frog is eating on plant, then snake is eating on frog. अब जरूरी नहीं snake ही frog को आके खाएगा. एक owl सीधा आके भी frog को भी खा सकता है. ठीक है. So ये एक food web बनेगा. Owl अगर frog को भी खा ले, owl अगर snake को भी खा ले. ठीक है. और कोई tiger आके owl को पकड़ के खा ले. ठीक है. So when there is interconnection between the energy levels that is known as food web food chain is jab simple ek chain mein ek line mein energy flow ho rahi theek hai yahan pe aap dekhoge ek simple line mein energy flow ho rahi hai producers consumers a primary consumer secondary and tertiary so when energy is flowing in a single line that is food chain when there is interconnection then there is food web okay coming to food web Several interconnected food chains. ठीक है, तो जब बहुत सारी food chains आपस में connect हो जाती है, that form a food web. A food web is similar to a food chain, but the food web is comparatively larger than food chain. ठीक है, क्योंकि एक food web में बहुत सारी food chains include होती हैं. ठीक है, that's why food web is a larger concept. So a single organism is consumed by many predators. जैसे मैंने वो example में आपको बताया, अब वो जो frog है, it's not necessary only snake will come and eat the frog. Other organisms can also come and eat it. A food web consists of all the food chains in a eco single ecosystem. So all interconnected and overlapping food chain in a ecosystem make a food web. ठीक है तो ये देखो एक फूड वेब का एग्जांपल है ओके सो दिस इज अ लिटिल बिट ब्लर बट यू कैन सी लाइक देयर आर सो मेनी फूड वेब फूड चेंज कनेक्टेड हियर स्टार्टिंग विद ग्रास ठीक है अब ये ग्रास को रैबिट भी खा रहा है माउस भी खा रहा है ग्रास ऊपर भी खा रहा है ठीक है रैबिट भी खा रहा है रैबिट इज आल्सो फीडिंग ऑन कैरेट ओके देन वी हैव अ फॉक्स फॉक्स कैन ईट अ बर्ड आल्सो ओके Fox can eat rabbit also. So you have so many food chains interconnected to each other that forms the food web. Okay. Again, an example of food web here. Okay. So we have producers here. We have plants. Okay. We have different organisms that are feeding on plants. Okay. So you can see snake can eat plant also. Snake can eat rabbit also. Okay, a fox can feed on rabbit also. A fox can eat a mouse also. Okay, so when there is interconnecting of food chain, that will form a food web. So a food web is a model that shows the complex network of feeding relationship and the flow of energy. Okay, so how the energy is flowing from one living organism to another living organism. At each link in a food web, the some energy is stored within an organism. Okay, so we have seen only ten percent of the energy is stored, and rest is lost in the atmosphere. 
Okay, now the different concepts that we use in food chain and food web we will study in our coming class. So this is it for today's lecture. You have any doubts for today's lecture? Okay, so we'll wind up today's lecture. Thank you, everyone.